The French bank just launched a new stablecoin in Euro. This is a Solidity spot contract that is deployed on Ethereum and the first reactions are not great. What is this fuss about? Let's check out the code and decide for ourselves. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Indoblogs I help you to learn Web3 development and if you want to know exactly what you need to learn to become a professional Web3 developer, check out my free masterclass, the link is in the description. The bank that launched this stablecoin is Société Générale which is the second largest bank in France. And I'm pretty familiar with this bank because I used to work there when I started my career in finance in Hong Kong. And now they're getting into blockchain. On April 20th, they announced that they will release their first stablecoin in Euro and that is geared primarily at institutional. It means that it's not for retail investors. So the best way to make an opinion on this stablecoin is to check out the code. So this is what we're going to do. We need to be careful because there are always scammers that try to deploy famous stablecoin that will actually steal all your money. We don't want to check the wrong smart contract. That's why first we need to check out the article, the announcement of Societe Generale to find the correct address. And then we can go to Etherscan and see the correct smart contract. And for that, we click on the contracts tab and then we can see the code. All right, so let's check out the Solidity code. And the first thing that we see is that when they import Open Zeppelin, they cannot even spell Open Zeppelin properly. You might find me a little bit pedantic on this, but come on, this is supposed to be an official bank issued stablecoin which handle billions of transactions and they make a mistake at line five. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So let's keep going and at line nine, we have the next clue that something is bad and this time it looks a bit more serious because there is this weird transfer request mapping. This is very suspicious because in normal EAS20 token, there is no need to approve any transfer. So we're gonna check out the transfer function and inside there is an internal initiate transfer function. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. And yes, I was right to worry about this because this transfer actually doesn't transfer anything. It just creates an entry in the transfer request mapping. So that means that you need to wait for an employee of the bank to validate your transaction. So that's a really terrible user experience. It's actually even worse than with normal bank transfer. So this transfer function was really weird, but what about the rest? So I kept reading until I found the approve function and in normal ERC20 token, that's a function that allows users to approve another address to spend their token. It's similar to when you allow a merchant to spend money on your credit card. So normally in an ERC20 token, any user can approve any other address to spend a token. But in the case of this Euro stablecoin, a user cannot do this directly because when you execute the approve function, it creates an approval request, which itself needs to be authorized by the operator of the stablecoin, which is the bank. So in other words, your approval needs to be approved. And you can see this because they have this other function called validate approval that can only be called by the bank. So that's completely not I've never seen this before and I think that even for credit card this isn't as much controlled by the bank because if you want to use your credit card to buy a subscription you can do it directly and the bank doesn't have to approve your approval so to speak so at this point this stablecoin is becoming really crazy but that's not over the worst is yet to come So we already knew that some stablecoins like USDT could freeze addresses at the request of government, but here it's even worse because they can directly steal your money, not freeze it, steal it and send it to a so-called register, which is something that the bank controls. So I have never seen this in any other smart contract, even with fiat money, it's something very rare. The bank never take your money for themselves or it would be a very long process with a judge that issue a court order but here in this smart contract it seems like they can just send a transaction and that's it they steal all of your money 
So what to think of all of this? On the one hand, I'm glad that Societe Generale picked Ethereum to deploy its stablecoin, but on the other hand, this stablecoin is totally bullshit. It's actually worse than fiat money. But we have to remember that this is a stablecoin for institutionals, it's not for retail investors. So the use case is a little bit different here. Anyway, it's still part of an experimentation. We're still very early and we'll have other stable coins with other rules in the future. And for the next step, if you want to learn how you can become a professional six-figure Web3 developer, check out my free masterclass. The link is just down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.